Welcome back to Out of Combat, our post casters and cantrip stream chat about our D&D game. Today you have me, Kid Kerrigan slash Nina Nikolic. Uh, I play the lovable, wonderful Grandma Kuta. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> <also> favorite. <laughs> have, yeah, we also have Bunny Dreadful who uh, plays our wonderful friend Emmy and we have Virtual Spectre who's playing Hayden, our master, court, quarter master of yeah, our Yeah, quarter master Hayden. Ship. Our ship! Woo! Yes. <laughs> So we just finished uh, episode 10. Oh my God, was that 10? I think wow. it was 10. I believe. Um, time does fly. And I've we lost got all our. Sense of it. Yeah, we got our new ship. And it's very exciting. <laughs> and lots, lots of things had occurred today. <laughs> yeah. A lot more happened than I was expecting, actually. I thought we were going to like arrive at the pirate island and like have some cocktails maybe take a nap you know um no that did not happen oh you know it's you know as soon as we got our hands on a ship we were gonna have some water combat at some point so i thought it was gonna happen afterwards though i also thought that we would just be like beelining it to nowhere Mm. (laughs) how do you guys feel it went though like for our first water combat rough it was kind of rough (laughs) it It was was kind of rough rough. we realized that we had capabilities we didn't realize we had um (laughs) we misunderstood some of our capabilities me we had misread some signals Mm -hmm. our our let's just say last session somehow we pulled off a crazy heist plan and we were all miraculously on the same page none of us were on the same page this session i think (laughs) (laughs) But not I mean, really. That's D&D. <laughs> not really. No. My dice also mm. weren't on the same page as me, but that's a story for another day. Mine this is either. Fine. It was a rough dice day. But luckily, but before we had a, all that. Yeah, what? Before all we that. Had crew stuff. Yes. Yeah. I was just going to also mention the crew. Yeah, stuff. I don't want to forget because it's my favorite. Um, yeah, I don't know. What, did you get, what was your favorite? Who's your favorite crew member so far? Hmm. That's a tough one. I'm so gut. I would die um, for chowder. I just yeah. throwing that out there. Grandma's kind of funny. Grandma's I love amazing. Grandma too. Grandma's kind of funny. But... <laughs> He's so funny. I just I'm like kind of upset because I think we're putting ourselves in a situation where we literally will die for these people. <laughs> and they're not the brightest. <laughs> You're like, nah, they can die. They can die. I I don't know about your characters, but Hayden might not be so ready to die for somebody like that. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't think he is either. But at least did. they did we did 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 you win their respect? Do we know yet how they took your speech of leadership? That's what I wanted to ask you about. Was was like, how did you speech. feel about that? It was so good. Yeah. You like jumped yeah. right into it. Oh, you're talking to me. Um yep, yep. Yeah. Well, it's an interesting thing because Moobs was doing really well with his little captain speech outside of like, you know, Max uh, jumping in on some of the less smart characters and giving him a hard time, which was really funny. So I figured was, like, yeah. okay, we got a baseline level of like, everybody knows each other's roles, but we still really haven't addressed like, what's expected of like a ship crew so i was like okay i'll just get up there and i'll be like no listen you lot captain's in charge i'm second in command his word is my my word and you know we need this ship running if we're gonna be successful and i I just wanted to like add to what moves was already doing what azric was already saying but was kind of prevented from saying a little bit because <laughs> he I had to answer they, a bunch of questions. I think um, they did buy into it though. Like it, they just so needed to hear it that way. But the, then we, but then we realized later the thing that we didn't discuss was <laughs> emergency protocol. 
Everyone when, just panicked. Because <laughs> well, everyone, all the people, because we didn't, like, we, we were like, so obviously you wake up the captain and stuff, right? Because panic. But also <laughs> it was just Kuda and Grima on watch and giant snakes in the water and Kuda can't see anything. <laughs> I guess my understanding coming into it was like, the, the crew that's joined us has had sailing experience. So mm. I figured like they would know some of the operations of a ship, like what like an emergency bell ring is or like well, Grima did what do their that, stations though. are. Yeah, Grima the was thing. the one who went and rang the bell and woke everyone up because Kuda had no clue. <laughs> That's the thing. I. It's weird because they should know some things, but at the same time, they're not the brightest. So it's almost as if they actually don't know anything. They're out I, here to get drunk and plunder, like basically. <laughs> yeah. So we should we should to, do some practice drills or something. That's what I'm thinking. We need like some. Um, We'll make it a game, and whichever one of them does the best at the practice drills gets gets the first drink of rum or something. I feel like that's a conversation that's going to have to be had next session anyway, now that we've had that experience. <laughs> and it was quite an interesting one. <laughs> we, I, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, we really have to make landfall somewhere, because I... yeah. Pronto. We're just not. Uh, we need to have some time off the ship, to settle things, get supplies. Because right now we're like, I know we started with enough, but if we keep running into like difficult situations, I don't know if the ship's that equipped for <laughs> multiple days of conflict out on the water like that. So. Yeah. We've got a lot to accomplish next session. Like the cove is actually quite far, it right? Is. When a shamaran is like right there. And yeah. it's like, do we do a pit stop before we continue? Do I we don't like, think so. I don't think we can. Do we pray the for the good roll? True. True. We have food. For now. True. I don't think it's that far where we're trying to go. We just need to try to not run into more crap. So maybe that means adding more people to watches or I don't know. How many days did Max say it was? I thought he said it was like six. six. Yeah, but we have like 10 days worth of food or something. Yeah, I think something like that. I don't think we're in trouble. Yeah, we might be all right. It just depends. I, if we have to keep rolling for stuff, like yeah, we could. Well, run that's into gonna storms happen no matter or, what. Yeah, mm. even if we go to the other place. And the thing is, the way that works is he's just constantly gonna keep rolling. It doesn't mean it's anything bad. And also, the ship isn't damaged. That's the main thing. Yeah. We might get really good rolls and get the get the wind with us and. Cut that's out true. Like three and, days. Yeah, that's true. Or like find a school of flying fish and then we have free dinner. <laughs> we could fish. We actually could try to get rations on the way. I don't know how that works on a boat. I know nothing about boats, you guys. Do either of you know anything about boats or like the ocean at all? A little bit? I, okay. I have like I have like entry level of understanding of okay. like sailing ships. I've never like, like, didn't done it in real life, <laughs> but as an interest of mine over the course okay, of the Okay, okay. So maybe we should, we did, I, I like, you, you found a diagram. We were looking at a diagram of a yes. boat. We're going to learn. We're going to get better. I posted we the directions, <laughs> a picture of where the directions are, it, because that was a... Starboard is... Right? Yeah. Hey! There's a bow. Is that the back? The front? The front. Is it the front? Oh, never the mind. I know nothing. 
<laughs> I've been trying to memorize these terms for a long time, and I have no idea. Well, it's really uh, hard. Yeah, I posted a, an image in in the chat for you. So, I'll I'll go look at it. Do you, do you know what we <laughs> forgot about? Asterix's little moment that none of us were privy to. Right, his visitor. What? <laughs> that was wild. I wish he were here. I want to ask about it. So, I bad. know. He's going to miss the opportunity to talk about it. We have to remind him to talk about it next week, maybe. But then I don't know if that'll give too much away as well. I don't well. know. Yeah, none of us has any... Our characters have no knowledge of that no. event. So it would be up to him to just tell us. And I don't know if he would. And is he going to? Emmy's the only one who kind of knows anything so it's up to you so, to get like, all the kind tea. of oblivious because she thought he was talking to taj and then taj wasn't there but then they quickly weren't talking about that anymore and she's just so like it's not that she doesn't know something was off but like it wasn't like the thing she was focused on at the time so yeah and he said something about he was having a bad dream or something yeah, yeah and then yeah, that's yeah. Not why they're talking about dreams we know that he does anyway yeah mm -hmm. yeah actually i was there when he had his other bad dream so mm -hmm. i don't know i think i was awake too i think i saw it but i don't remember i was yeah, awake uh... was well as anything? players we now know it because he's an uh asmr we now know which god that he's was touched by but our characters don't does anybody know mm -hmm. anything about what was it the the um Oh God, I don't even remember what God was. The Lotus, the Lotus King. King. Yeah, the Lotus King. And that with the right. voice of the Lotus King. Right. So my understanding of the Pantheon is that there's a bunch of them and some are like more important and powerful than others, kind of like the Greek Pantheon or whatever. And I think the Lotus King might be one of the big ones. I, yeah, I think from our like Session Zero stuff, he said like each place and what like their patron deity was yeah he was definitely one of them which makes me wonder is he from the place where the lotus king is the patron which is, is interesting we don't know anything about him he also, he's our captain and we know nothing I mean, about him yeah uh well he was like kind of uh religious at first it sounded like he said he said something about he grew up with the order or something yeah was mm -hmm. he like at their orphanage or something because he said something about like not having parents yeah it sounds I'm like so he was like isn't that he, what he was talking their... to the voice about yeah. yeah yeah right yeah but none of our characters know this yeah yeah no. yeah right. and chat no. knows exactly. it <laughs> oh, frustrating i want to know and then and then did you hear the part where she said, I can't believe you're still friends with Taj, or I can't believe Taj is yeah. still friends with you, I knowing she what she knows? Mm. I was like, I what does part. she know? Mm. There's some dark secrets, I think, going on. Do and your characters so have dark secrets? Mm. Surely Hayden does. He looks like a man dark of dark secrets. secrets. Yeah. Cooter's definitely murdered a man in cold blood at least once a month. So we know Cooter has dark secrets. Not on purpose. <laughs> I don't I don't uh, cursed. <laughs> I wouldn't say dark secrets. I mean he, he is what secrets. He yeah, oh sure, like anybody. Yeah, he has things oh. that uh, from his past <laughs> that he doesn't ever talk about. I don't think Emmy has dark secrets. I don't think I think she barely has secrets. She has some stuff she hasn't told you all yet, but I don't think she's keeping it a secret. It just hasn't come up yet. Same with Kuda, really. Yeah, it's the same. We just kind of we we just assume we're all on this we're all on this journey together now. <laughs> yeah. it like it's like a it's like a convenience thing, right? Like nobody's yeah. really pushed anybody, and so yeah. Everybody's like, we're, we're kind of on the same page and, you know, everybody's curious about one another, but nobody's been like, really no pushed. One's been pushed. You're right. It's going to come to a head at some point, but I don't, I don't know that we're there yet. Kind of like, don't rock the boat right now. Cause yeah. we're, we're just mm -hmm. getting started with whatever it is. Yeah. That we're doing, That's a good way so. to think of it. I don't know. I, 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 I like drama. I'm ready for some, some, some drama to 
kind of come to a head. Well, we are going I, to a pirate island, so yeah. If ever there who, was a place, who knows what we're gonna find there? I cannot and wait. I want to do back. some carousing. Oh yeah, and Taj will be back just in yep. time. <laughs> Right also, she just slept time. through that whole thing. She was like, eh, crew overboard. Who needs them? It, I went yeah. back to bed. She's like, yeah, all right. To be fair, that's, <laughs> that's totally her vibe. She would do that. It's also t- <laughs> fair because that whole fight, if you think of it in by the rules, it took place in like just like eight minutes or something, right? A very mm-hmm. short amount of time, honestly, in real, like if you translate it to real time. So mm-hmm. maybe longer than eight minutes, but it wasn't very long. Yeah. It was everything was relatively fast. Yeah. I was thinking like we might get one or two people like at a certain point start waking up. But I then I realized like, oh, that's more for Max to have to like Yeah. I think he realized that this game too. And I think next time we need to be like, let's get the crew, let's man the cannons. Mm. Because we should have been shooting those things with cannons yeah. every turn. Yeah. As long as, like, I, I don't know how cannons work in DD. I don't know if there's like a splash either. effect. So I don't know if, like, we shot I one. Have and no clue. If it will hit our teammate if they're right next to it or something. I don't know. That's a good point. I didn't even really think about that. We could have all killed each other with cannons. Yeah. I don't know. I, well, we have to find that out. That's another thing for our crew. Yep. Yeah. Well, I feel like we need to do some talking and some planning. <laughs> we can't just yolo our way through this. Like, you know what we talk. need? We need to get lucky and come across another like derelict ship and just roll up and start shooting it with our cannon <laughs> as target practice. Just like target practice. Yeah. We need some. We need some like. We need practice. We need training. We need target practice. That's what we need. We're doing it. We need one of those like montages where everyone. Yes. Like we, Kuda definitely needs to practice her shooting so badly. <laughs> Let's ask if we can have a montage scene on the way next time and we'll practice shooting. We're going to practice. Cooter's going to practice not puking on people. Um, I also didn't get to it, but Emmy has an idea for Cooter. Next time you're feeling nervous, okay, so you already have a bucket. Why don't we just oh make you God. like a strap for it? So that if you're feeling anxious, you just you just put the bucket on. And then when we're in a battle, we'll be like, Cooter, put your bucket on. Put your bucket on. And then you'll be okay. That's such a good idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. I just feel like, you know, you just you just uh, and hold the bucket up and then you're fine. A little barf bag. And then she can, when she actually wants to cast the spell, she can throw the bucket. Throw the bucket! Yes. I just, we need to work on Cooter's um, so anxiety smart. and her, um, you know, just like working under pressure. But also I think we need to get you like a real weapon so you don't have to keep puking on dudes to kill them. <laughs> well, the thing is I have my, I have a Yakuwa that literally returns to me when I throw, I just can't for the life of me use physical weapons. <laughs> Well, no, you should have weapons as an artificer, right? Well, I do. Like, I do. But that's the thing. They don't, like, I think she does better damage if she's in melee range because she can use the, Mm, she can use booming blade, but she can never seem to get into melee range. Or if she does, she gets, like, stomped on. Mm. See, this is why we need some practice. We need, we need combat practice. Yeah. We should just, like, run some practice with the crew and we'll make people like orange shirts and blue shirts and we'll be like different teams it'll be like um field day in school you know and then like the winning team gets the rum and we'll just like practice all these things so (laughs) yeah overall very fun session though very fun it was very fun (laughs) getting to (laughs) play everything out on on a ship and to slide into those roles was a lot of fun I'm having a blast. It's making me want to like, I don't know, like go just like watch pirate movies now. I'm just like, I just want to like, (laughs) oh, it's good. It's a good feeling. You know, to get into character, like I'm a huge fan of Assassin's Creed 4, which is the pirate one. Oh, yeah. And my character is partially based off of the main character in that one. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. That's cool. So to get in the character, I'll like, I'll like 
put some clips on YouTube of like different things from that game and like what the main character says or, and what happens on the ship and stuff. I'm like, okay, let's, that's let's get into the game. Idea. <laughs> that's a good idea. I'm going to have to do that. So next time, um, before we play, I'll just put on some, uh, videos from the little mermaid saying a whole new world. Yeah. Yeah, go. do it. Help me get oh, the can we, Let's talk about the, <laughs> Let's talk about Emmy's slight appearance change in the water. Mm-hmm. Is that only when she's swimming that happens, or is that I always like had this concept of her being literally a fish out of water? So the reason she's so awkward and naive and flustered and dorky and has her big glasses and is always messing up is because she's literally like the embodiment of like fish out of water, and because she's dealing with people and society and just like breathing air and things that she's not used to the glasses she actually wears because she found it like weird to be looking not out of water and she actually needed to like put something between her eyes and the rest of the world because it just like made her feel weird they're not like prescription or whatever um and then she but under the water she feels more relaxed and at home so she's more graceful she's less awkward she's more confident she doesn't need her glasses and like notice like her hair is all frizzy above water it's because She's lived her whole life underwater. Her hair needs the moisture. She doesn't know, like, it's just like, like if you meet someone who grew up in, like, the rainforest and they go to live in, like, Arizona, they're going to be like, oh, my God, my skin is so dry. What the heck? So she's just literally out of her element at all times. Uh-huh. And so I've, oh, I had this concept of, like, when we would go back to the water, I wanted it to be this moment of, like, this is where she's really good. Mm. Well, to be fair, I think... The only people that saw that was me and maybe the bugbear. Yep. And I don't know if the bugbear is... He's drunk. You, yeah. You transformed into the octopus, I think. And then... Yeah, right after that. Yeah. Yeah. That was my she's all that moment. Yeah, so. I was just going to say you did the she's all that and then giant <laughs> the glasses octopus. off, fix the hair, and then a giant <laughs> octopus. You know, yeah, that happened in she's all that too, right? Yeah, and then people started getting bit by snakes and then... Going insane, screaming, blood in the water, (laughs) ink in the water, everything. Pretty much just everyone's worst nightmare. Oh, man. Let's not get those snakes again. No, that was awful. That was like, it's so funny. I was so, I was mad. It was funny and I was mad at Max because I remember literally warning you all about sea creatures and I don't know these. I'm just making this up. And I was like, oh, she'd know. So I just started making, so I was like, oh yeah, giant sea snakes. And I said that. And then of course he throws them at us and I was like, you son of a bitch mm. so, yeah yeah i feel like that was my fault a little bit but it was fun like we might need higher guardrails or something so people don't should get some more uh, flotation devices we can like throw to people um like, oh yeah you know. like uh floaties yeah Life save, life save. Yeah, like, no more, uh, no more walking on deck if you've been drinking. That's the new ship rule. We need a life ring. We need a, we need like a life ring, like ones, like the mm-hmm. ring that they toss yeah. off. The... Oh, so, like, if somebody's gonna drink, they have to walk around with a life ring on them. That's a good idea. Wow, that's all, that's how this whole thing happened. He was drinking. I need yeah. life jackets, hundred percent. Yeah, life jackets. Um, also. In real life, if someone goes overboard, like if you're on a cruise ship and you fall overboard, the chances of you getting recovered from that are not high. Oh, on a cruise ship, sure. Unless like you, like m- multiple people witnessed it happen. Yeah. But I'm just thinking our crew thing. likes to drink. And if they're going overboard at night, we can't, we can't be having this happen. So I think we need to, uh, we need to instruct, uh, in- uh, enforce some strict rum at sea policies <laughs> but you know what i wonder what would have happened if i didn't try to push past him because he fell overboard because kuda was trying to get mm. to hayden mm. and I, so oh, i yeah. wonder if i wonder if he hadn't have so gone what you're overboard saying is if then the, Peter, the ripper strikes the again been damaged <laughs> well that also but like the maybe the boat could have been damaged if the snakes were going to come for, for the boat instead of you're saying he was bait and he actually yeah. saved the boat. Yes. I hadn't thought of that. Could those snakes have done damage to the boat, though? 
surely they could have. Yes. Surely a bit, at least. Hmm. But I don't Maybe. know. I don't know how that works. I don't. I don't. I don't either. <laughs> I don't know how sea serpent, giant fictional sea serpent versus boat. Yeah, works. I don't know. I don't know if it. <laughs> what in the water is big enough to be able to hurt a ship, and what is not. I do know. Those are not the worst thing we're going to fight in the ocean. Not oh, no. by a long shot. Like there's actual krakens and like the thing you were there's talking about is things. the plesiosaur thing or whatever. Yeah, but there's a couple dinosaurs, but there's worse things than that in d and I happen to have played saying. in an underwater game briefly once before, and there are some things down there that we do not. Basically, everybody knows what a beholder is, right? Yeah. No. There's things worse than that. Don't look you it know. up. It's better if you don't know. It's more fun if you don't know. But the yeah. chat, they know. They know what a beholder is. The beholder is the thing on the on like the front of the book when you see okay. like the is it the monster manual or the DM's handbook mm. with all the eyes. Anyways, most people think of that as being like one of the worst big bads. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Okay. What? <laughs> Oh, I think Max is telling me it's time to go to bed or the creature I'm talking about has more power than I realize and it is broken into this dimension and turned my lights off. What the heck? Thanks, Max. I'm a little scared now. Max is like, wrap it up, guys. Yeah, that's that, like, that was the cue. You're done. Wrap it up. I guess I guess we'll wrap it up then. I guess. But but do come and enjoy the stream next week at the same time. What is it? Friday? What's the PST times? I just realized I'm not here next week. Are we playing next week? I think we are. Uh, that means I won't be here for Pirate Island. Sad. We may be there. We might not get yeah, there. You may not make it there. You might be dead before then. Oh, I mean. Is it 6 well, have PM? fun and good luck. 6 p.m. Pacific 6 time every Friday. Come hang out. Watch us get murdered by sea monsters and or pirates and or worse things. And, and or ourselves. <laughs> and or ourselves. That's the more likely one. Uh, but if you want to come hang out before then, we have the uh, live video of our podcast, uh, Tome of Knowledge, on Mondays at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And that's where several of us get together and talk about i don't know whatever random D D things i don't know what the next topic is uh but come hang out i know yes you'll be there mm -hmm. and usually max and moobs are there and uh you you'll be talking about something D D noobs to know yeah and it's a good one because if you talk in chat you can participate a little bit more because we can't always pay attention to chat on the D D episodes mm -hmm. but on tome of knowledge totally we want to talk to you we want to hear from you we want your opinions and then on Tuesday, I'll be back drawing some more D&D art at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So come hang out for that, too. And uh, I think I did it. I think I said all the things. And support the so. Patreon for more ships. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, the, the, everything we get from Patreon, we use to get cool maps and, and license music and all this cool stuff for the channel to make it a better experience. So if you liked that boat that was literally moving around on the map tonight... It was very Wait. cool. That's what Support it goes the Patreon. To, so. Thank you so much. Uh, if you already the artists do that. that we use. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. And that's it for us today. Thanks for listening to this episode and we'll catch you next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>